712 unit dwellings. And so that's about just over twice what a normal volume would be. We're still ex experiencing challenges due to uh, candles. As the mayor said, a probable cause of a large fire last night was candles left burning when the family was out. We're also experiencing problems with heating devices that are brought in that are made for external, like barbecues, charcoal, or propane, also generators. So that increases our call volume. Most of our volume is in the north of the city, in East Scarborough area, where there isn't power. The challenge when we respond to areas is we've got to worry about without street lights, without traffic signals, it's more dangerous for our people to respond, more difficult to manage incidents. So again, a lot of caution is required. In the last five days, as of this morning, we had 11,367 runs, which is just unprecedented with the Toronto Fire Service. So again, a very high call volume. Uh, the service, uh, whether they're firefighters, communications people, or support staff, has had great attendance. Uh, we're keeping our numbers up. People are showing up for work every day. They're working long shifts. And um, every day we turn over a new crew, police report, everybody shows up. Everybody's dedicated and diligent in the task ahead. So hopefully within the next day or two, we'll see also our call volume decrease as they have with EMS. And again, uh, working together collectively and collaboratively, we're trying to get the job done. There are still two fire stations, I believe, that don't have power. So how is that impacting or hindering your ability to uh, service this unprecedented number of calls? I think I use the term inconvenience, major inconvenience. We're running generators into the station. The gen stations do have small generators that run some of the core functions, but they don't have heat, they don't have other elements. So we've used generators, and so the firefighters are, are, are absolutely accepting and tolerating the conditions sometimes they have to work under. We're so busy. Many of them aren't spending much time in the stations. So really the station is where they start their shift and where they finish their shift but they can be out for most of the 24 hours. That's how busy we are. Can you tell us what house it was that had the I, There was uh, many calls last night and, uh, uh, until we confirmed it, I'd rather not give that information. Are you seeing any more problems with people using their barbecue handles, minor fires, large fires? We're, we're still having those calls. I wouldn't say the calls have increased, but we're still getting calls because of that. And again, I, Raph just said, I think it's important for the media to continue a strong message of safety in regard to devices that should not be used in your home and the safe use of candles. I think that's very important. The media has been extremely helpful in hopefully mitigating this incident and, and helping us make the city safer.